This is Joe from the Emergency Vehicle Shop here in Latrobe. I wanted to show you our latest build here. It's a 2023 Ford F-150 uh, that is going to be used in an EMS environment. We have a lot of really neat stuff in here. 99% um, of it is uh, Code 3, the Z3 matrix system, which does a whole lot. But the thing that I wanted to show you first, which a lot of people really get excited about, is the siren system that's in here. Of course, it is the, the Code 3, but so far Code 3 does not have the low frequency, we, we call it the hammer. Uh, what we put in here was a Phoenix hammer, uh, which is added to the existing uh, siren, and I'll give you an idea what that sounds like. And it's really great for clearing intersections, going through buildings, going through cars. I mean, it, it is extremely loud. It's a low frequency driver that ties into the existing um, system. So let me give you an idea. And of course, it is hooked up to park kill. So whenever we shift the vehicle into park, it automatically kills the siren. I'll hit it first, just siren only, and then I'll hit the hammer along with the siren. So I'm sure you heard the difference. I, I started it with just the siren, then I hit the hammer, and then I turned the hammer back off. And I mean, there, there's, when you're coming to an intersection or whatever, they'll hear you coming. So if you ever have any problems with you know, getting through places, uh, most of the companies make them. We really like the Phoenix one. It is not that expensive and it is a great unit. We've had no issues with them at all. The other neat thing uh, in this vehicle, like I said earlier, it is the uh, Code 3 matrix system and it does a lot of things. We have an OBD2 module also plugged into the vehicle that allows a lot of things to happen. For instance, in the back, as per customer request, we have some Code 3 lights under the bumper, and we have those tied into the brake lights, the turn signal lights, and also the backup lights. The brake light, whenever we hit the brake, and then reverse, if you have your foot on the pedal, it's white and red. When you take your foot off the pedal, it goes all white. The other thing that we have hooked up to the OBD2 Code 3 outliners, which we have hidden above the running boards, and we have them tied into when you open the door, they automatically come on. And what's nice about the Code 3 uh, outliners, they're very, very thin. And we also have the front. We had our other shop, as per customer request, tint the lenses dark black so you can't even tell they're under there, which is a sort of a cool thing. Another feature that, they, that we custom did was on the fender here, there was an F-150 emblem here. We took the F-150 emblem off and mounted the mega thin Code 3s on each side so they look like they're supposed to be there and they're sort of flush. And also we have on here a Weston push bar with the wings that protect the headlights, the two cut out for the lights with two on the side. And then we have this code three. This thing here is amazing. We also have the function, which I'll demonstrate in a minute here for flood. We also have an interior light bar there, the supervisor, code three supervisor inside the windshield. If we turn all that off, as you can see, it really lights up both the sides and then the ones that were on the F-150 emblems. I mean, it really lights up if you need area lighting. This is the way we do it. And another really interesting uh, thing that we have in this vehicle made by Hella, it's called a Hella Hero. And what they have is they have the specialty LED bulbs that replace your existing bulbs. So we took the original bulbs out of the backup light. And when you get the, the Hella Heroes, uh, they will replace that plus it gives you four colors that you can tie into your controller and the neat thing about it is it when you hit reverse it automatically overrides and goes to your regular reverse but they're really bright as opposed to the incandescent bulbs that were in there originally those should have turned red and white now let me shut the lights off and i'll show you just what reverse looks like we also have a custom plate that's mounted inside the console not a uh, police version. So we have a plate mounted there and we mounted the, the controller. And then all the good stuff, we make a custom board and we mount everything there and that is secured behind the seat. When the seat goes up, you don't know any, anything is there. Another cool aspect of this build is, uh, for those of you that have been doing upfitting for a while, you remember, I call it the olden days, when if you wanted anything in the back, uh, lights or the front, you had to get out your hole saw, cut a one inch hole and put one of these birds in. Every company makes them, you know, Wheeling, Phoenix, Code 3, whatever. You, you put them in, hopefully you had a place to screw them in, and then put silicone around the whole thing, 
In the meantime, all your shavings that you did went into the light, whatever. We don't do that anymore. You know, we found uh, that Hella Heroes, uh, in this case, this was the backup light that was originally in there. We decided to go with the white Hella Hero, but it also has your four colors that, that have separate controller leads. So all you do is take out the existing bulb. The bulb that goes in there, you tell them what kind of vehicle you have and you get an adapter that snaps around the, the new LED bulb. There's a little box about the half the size of a pack of cigarettes that is the actual interface unit. Uh, you mount it somewhere back behind the light. We have them screwed in behind the lights here. And then you have your choice uh, of the, the colors that you want to flash. We have these set up as red and white. And what's nice, it, it, the, when you put it in this case, uh, we have it in the reverse light, so we, if, no matter what you're doing, if you put it in reverse, it overrides. And what's nice, if you had an incandescent bulb in there originally, the bulbs now are LEDs and they're really, they're white lights. They're not like this yellowish light. So it, they're not that expensive, and for the amount of labor that you don't have to do, because they're, they're simple to install, I would highly recommend uh, doing something like this instead of destroying your lights and drilling holes and gluing these things in. So this, it's a pretty elaborate build. It's a, it's a nice build, does a lot of stuff. These are the key points. There's a few other things that it does, but we don't want to keep you forever, so.